फ्रेंड्स दिस इज विक्रम प्रसाद बलियावाला इन यू एस ए दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ दिस सीरीज ऑफ द वीडियो माई स्टोरी एट पी एच डी लेवल एट द वेन स्टेट यूनिवर्सिटी इन डी टॉयट एज आई हैव टोल्ड my wife joined and i began to do my research and teaching as well um i want to confess here that i had an indian accent on my english so when i was teaching uh undergraduate students i was teaching uh lab almost every day uh i had to go after preparing the task what experiments they will do and how they will do what uh, things have to be done but i had accent and by the way i still have some accent but they used to uh not annoy but feel as they were hearing some very interesting accent guy is there were some other people too with um uh, some other accent but i had my accent of india on my english but they were wonderful students i want to tell you i had a wonderful time uh teaching and working by for my research at Wayne State University in Detroit and uh, uh, surrounding professors are associated professors under whom I was studying for my other classes they were also very good uh, another thing i want to tell you that grading system is not or was and it still it is not like india here the system is very different uh multiple choice questions in india we were used for essay type questions here multiple choice questions and two answers will always be very close so uh i had to be very very careful not to fail and failing is not accepted at phd level so um I did pass all the required classes uh while I was working on my research and my research was also great I was able to prove that each larvae uh of the water mite had very specific uh species specific genus specific and family specific uh characteristics which was never Uh, proven before that extensively so it was fourth year when my professor stopped and says look vikram you have done excellent work now you start uh, writing your thesis and i was delighted he also stated that you can go to india and uh, complete your uh, thesis work because your two children are still in, in india and then uh you can submit from there uh, my wife and i decided it was a not good thing because in india would we would have been distracted so we decided we will complete the thesis here and then we will go so it was 19 70 when i completed my phd and big uh, exam with the two foreign languages one was german and one was i think is spanish so after passing it was 1970 and when i look back at that time i said I came here in 1964 and it is 1976 years how time passed by I couldn't re- realize 
During that time, I had sent a tape recorder, almost crying, to our daughter uh, at my wife's home when she was living there. Sorry, uh, children were living there because my wife's parents were taking care uh, to them as in-laws. So, um, we returned in 1970. By that time, we had our youngest son, Ravindra, born here, who was hardly maybe a year and a half old. Uh, so we went to India, uh, met our children, our relatives, and I started to work under um, Scientific Research Foundation in Bangalore University um, of uh, Bangalore Agricultural University in Hebel uh, as a scientific pool officer, which was a very good deal I admire for offering because that was given so that people coming returning from abroad, they can settle. Uh, so finally, uh, my children began to live, we began to live in Bangalore for two years uh, while I was working and then I got a uh, job of associate professor at famous uh, Punjab Agricultural University in Ludhiana. So I joined there and began to teach uh, taxonomy, acrology, and uh, uh, my children began to study in uh, English medium um, Catholic schools. But it so happened, uh, I had my car, my had a scooter, and I was going to build my home there, but it so happened that I began to develop very serious kidney st stone pain. So I would get admitted on a weekly basis in the university hospital. Uh, finally, I talked to the doctor. He says, either you go back to your home state, which is UP, um, and my city is Balia near Varanasi, famous Varanasi city, uh, where I had a study for my um, BS you know, degree or you go back to USA. And uh, another miracle happened to us that I remember that before returning to India, I had filed an application with the immigration office for consideration of our immigration. And two years were required. I didn't remember that. But then, uh, my daughter began to say, Dad, let's go to USA, let's go to USA. And then I wrote a letter to immigration office uh, in Detroit. And just imagine how nice uh, those people concerned were there. Send me a letter that your immigration was approved and sent on your apartment address because you have completed two years, uh, you know, out of the country requirement. And so I wrote them that please send that, uh, you know, later to American embassy uh, in New Delhi, which they did. An American embassy informed me that you have to uh, accept uh, in two months and go to USA, if not, then it will be, this uh, the uh, visa will be given to uh, next person in the line. There was this line, uh, you know, of many people. And I didn't want to lose that system uh, on my chance. And then I sold all my uh, stuff, car, scooter, furniture, bought the ticket with that money, and I wrote a letter to one of my friends in the USA that uh, I, we are returning to USA 
and how is the situation could you meet and luckily he said yes situation is not very good for job but you come here i'll meet you at the airport and that part of the story with that gentleman i will explain in another video so uh without children we came back here in 1975 uh five of us three of our children my wife and myself uh landed at the airport where my friend was waiting uh so i will stop that part here that will be part 3 uh our lives in uh detroit metropolitan area uh including west bloomfield and other places friends thanks for watching this video लेकिन मैं हिंदी में अपने और लोगों को जो हिंदी में जानते हैं बोलते हैं उनको भी कहना चाहूँगा कि देखिए ये कहानी कैसे चली कैसे हुई और ये इजी नहीं था बहुत डिफ़िकल्ट था मैं बाद में बताऊँगा डिफ़िकल्टी को और मैं फिर कहता हूँ कि अमेरिका एक ग्रेट कंट्री है जो टैलेंटेड है उनको बहुत चांस है कृपया आप इलीगल यूएसए में नहीं आए अगर आए तो स्टडी के लिए आए और नहीं तो आ, दूसरा वर्क वीसा या जो भी हो परमिट पर आए क्योंकि एक बार अगर इलीगली करते हुए पकड़े गए तो आपको रिटर्न भेजा जाएगा सो so, फ्रेंड्स उनके लिए मैसेज है कि गलत न करें आ, आने के लिए ए, बहुत चांस है अगर पढ़ने के लिए आ रहे हैं तब तो, तो और अच्छा है तो मैं यहीं आ स्टाफ कर रहा हूं और ये हम कह रहा हूं कि थैंक्स बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आपको वीडियो देखने के लिए फिर हम आपसे बात करेंगे